Welcome back to Morning Live, a final look now at your sports news for today. Now, tomorrow evening, South Africa's Maruma Gallants will play host to one of the giants of African football, African Sports Club, commonly known as Yanga, for the second leg of the CAF Confederation Cup. We are joined in studio by the president of Yanga, Hersi Saeed. Good morning, Hersi. Thank you so much for joining us on Sports on Morning Live. Very good morning. How are you, madam? I'm very well, thank you. So now, Hersi, you've just won your 29th league title with a couple of games to spare. Mm -hmm. It really is a good time right now for the club that's 89 years old. Yeah, yeah. We're very excited. We're very happy with the results. We're very happy also to be crowded champions of uh, NBC Premier League in Tanzania. And that's not the only title you have this season. You already have another title and now yeah. you're, of course, still contending for CAF and one more. Yes. Um, in the beginning of the season, actually, we have a tournament called uh, Charity Cup. And that Charity Cup is the kickoff of the season. And we managed to beat our rival 2-1. So we grab our first trophy in the beginning of the season. And then um, the league title now. Talk about the league title now, but a big one happening tomorrow night is, of course, you taking on South Africa's Maruma Gallant. How important is a victory for you going into this semi-final second leg clash? To be honest, this is our first time reaching the level of uh, semi-final. And uh, we've played one game at home um, with the advantage of two goals. And tomorrow we're going to um, uh, finish the second leg here in South Africa. It's very important for my club, Young Africans. It's very important for Tanzanian football as well. We would love to be part of the, uh, the final of uh, CAF Confederation this season. South Africans are not loving hearing, <laughs> hearing you say that because they also want our very own Maruma Gallants to make it to that final. But let's talk about how things haven't always been rosy for this young African side. I mean, you've been at the helm for about the last three, four years alongside your leadership. Mm -hmm. But when you joined, there was just some trying times for the club. How did you manage to turn things around? Yeah, it was uh, in the beginning, it was very difficult. Um, because young Africans, by the time we, we came into um, supporting, or I can say um, supporting the club and raise to the level of where younger can be able to compete locally, international, with the help of our sponsor, GSM, Mr. Ghalib Said Mohammed, it was very difficult. So we had, uh, we had, let's say, I can say two uh, phases. Phase one was a short term where we were supporting, uh, being supported by Mr. Ghalib Said Mohammed, our sponsor, to raise the value of the club by signing good players, uh, training facilities, um, uh, paying salaries and all this stuff. So initially, we were expecting uh, to have a short-term period where we can be able to raise the performance of the club through our sponsor. And in the long term, we had a project called Transformation to transform the entire uh, team from the old system of operation to a new system whereby now it was more of a fun engagement and allow funds and members to be part of the club financially. And you speak about the players and we know that you've had somewhat of an overhaul when it comes to the player department in, in the team. What is it that defines a younger player? What is it that when you went out into the market you were looking for and you said this is the type of player in terms of characteristics and types of personality that speaks to what the club stands for? Um, honestly speaking, in Africans, it's a result-oriented football club. Um, the fans and members, they want their team to win all the time. Every tournament, every game they're playing, they want their team to win. So whatever the signing that you want to do, you have to reflect the, the requirement of the fans and members. And our requirement is to win all, all the trophies. So you look at the player and you say, this player, can he give us results? Can he make sure that uh, he can add value to our team and make sure we win every game in the league? And we're very happy the signings has paid us. Um, uh, last season, we managed to go into 49 and beaten. Uh, it's a record for Tanzania. It's a record for East Africa. And I think it's number four in Africa, um, having said uh, 49 games without, 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 without getting... Without a loss. Yeah, without a loss. So the results are um, reflecting this uh, type of players that we signed. We talk about the results reflecting all the work that you've put in in terms of the team. And I, I want to go again into this uh, second leg semi-final clash against Maruma Gallants tomorrow. Because we saw coming into that first leg just a key player in Mayele for, for, for the young Africans. How key is that young man to your squad? Uh, Mayele, to be honest, um, he's one of the best strikers in Africa now. Uh, he is a top scorer in the league in Tanzania, 16 goals. Um, the second one, I think it's uh, sitting at 10. 
So he's our top, uh, top, top goal scorer in the local league. He has been uh, number two uh, his first season, which is last season, 16 goals as well. But if you ripe up uh, the entire number of goals he has scored so far, within two seasons, he has scored more than 50 goals, sitting at 52 goals per two seasons. But also in the African tournament, uh, he has, four, has scored four goals in CAF Confederation, sitting at number two, uh, behind uh, Marumo Garland, striker. Yeah. And uh, in the preliminary stages, he scored six goals. So a total of 10 goals in CAF Confederation this season, uh, and 16 goals in the league. To me, Mayele Fiston is number one striker in Africa now. So Mayele is the man that Maruma Gallants <laughs> need to work on tomorrow, the man they need to mark. And just in terms of your preparations ahead of that clash, how has it been since you arrived in the country? So far, South Africa is treating us very well. Uh, we came here three days ago and my team straight uh, traveled to Rustenburg, where we need to climatize. In Dar es Salaam, where um, uh, my team is located, it's a bit hot now. It's here, here the, the temperature is very low. Uh, you guys are freezing here. So uh, we had to send the team a bit earlier for them to climatize and get to understand the environment and, and, and you know, get ready for the game. But so far, I mean, South Africa is treating us very well. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming through this morning and good luck for tomorrow's clash. Thank you very much. Appreciate <laughs> that it. That is Hersi Saeed. He is the president of Young Africans. They will be in CAF Confederation the Cup competition tomorrow up against South Africa's Maruma Gallants. I will be part of that build-up for SABC Sports at 5.30 with that encounter kicking off at 6 p.m.